Hello, within this video I'm going to be talking about which is best to use, whether you would be using a drop-down or a user input. Um, let's get started with the drop-down. The drop-down, like for example, if you're looking for something like, you know, um, years or an age, you would have to manually type all of these inside yourself, you see? So for example, if you go into the design mode, you would have to do something like, you know, uh, type them out all singular. Let's, let's keep it with age. And you know, let's pretend that you were doing 18 and up, 19, 20, and it can be a little bit time consuming and then, you know, uh, it can get very lengthy process to do. Um, but you know, nevertheless, um, even though this is lengthy to do, the, you, the, um, the person that's using this, the user, will never select anything else but what with what you give them, okay? And as you see, the more numbers that we put, the longer that the dropdown is going to be. And eventually, when it gets long enough, you're gonna have a scroll bar, okay? So let me go ahead and show you what that looks like. There you go, and see, now you have your little, um, your little scroll bar to look look through the through the ages. So as you as the programmer and designer, you hopefully you do not mess up. And let's say for example, you omit some, you forget to put some of the numbers because you were you no, know, you were just doing this and it was just no, you did a mistake. Um, so, but the beauty of the drop down is that you give the user what to select from. Now, moving on to the text input, I like the text input a lot, but it can get a little bit problematic. So for example, if somebody wanted to mess around with my, my program and say that they're negative 50 years old, you know, like they're, I cannot stop them. Or let's say they wanted to put in strings like, I don't know, LOL. They wanted to mess around with my program and maybe your program isn't uh, foolproof and it doesn't give them like, you know, telling them that this is not what they're looking for. Maybe they're typing you know, the age or something. They're typing their age instead of like, you know, putting in a number. So you gotta be a little bit more specific as to what you want from the user. So you see, type your age and numbers. I gave them a good prompt here. So now let's say, for example, let's go ahead and let's say that all I wanted to do is display their age. I can do this. And with my drop down. You know, I could do something like this. And like I was talking to you, what if they give you like a really large number? The H is always gonna get displayed here. Okay, so they're messing with your program. And if I were put, let me see, STR, it's gonna give you this one, this problem, NAN. Because H is a number and you put a string in there. Okay, so it's not very happy with it. Okay, so that's another error. So what I'd like to do whenever I know that like for example, for a program like this that's getting the age, I want to do something like an if statement. So if the age is as long as it's longer than negative one, so that includes zero, and age is less than 125, so let's give them a range, then I'm going to go ahead and display that. Okay. Uh, if they give me something different, like for example, uh, I say that's not a valid entry put your name, I mean your age in you and put your age in numbers. So just as a reminder, so let's go ahead and run it. There you go. So let's go negative 50. There you go. That's not a valid entry. Put your age uh, in years or like don't forget to put your age in years. Don't forget to put your age in numbers. And then let's say if they were typing 12, you know, it's not a valid entry and it still gives them this message until, you know, you go to like something like zero, it allows it, 124, it allows it. So between these two methods, I honestly prefer the text input block other than the drop down because with the text input block, yes, I got to write a little bit more code, but even then I can work with so many more ranges than if I, I would with, you know, just allowing them to um, select from a drop down. The drop down, however, a, on part of the user is gonna give them less chances to commit errors because they're you know, just 18, 19, and they can't mess around with their, their, your program as much. So probably if you, the drop down, if I had very few values to choose from, 
I'll probably go with the drop down. I would say with nothing more than 10. And then for the text input, if they have more than 10 values that they can input, then I would probably go with the text input. However, none of them are better than the other. It all depends on what your, the needs of your program and what the purpose of the, the screen that you're designing will be in the end. Thank you so much for watching.